Yeah, we're watching it, Karen. The good news is, is there are some factors that may eliminate our threat for the thunderstorms tonight. But again, there's enough of a risk that we've got to keep our eyes out. Uh, the stuff that's on radar right now, not going to affect us. We're really focused on this area up around Ludington, north of Grand Rapids. And on the visible satellite, you can see that there's been some sunshine, some breaks in the clouds up there. But when you look at the temperatures, they don't look a whole lot warmer than what we've got down here. In fact, really, the warmth today has really been determined by that southwest wind, and that's why we've been getting uh, some mid 70s here in our west and south zone, which is warmer than what they've been getting with that wind off the lake. 62 there in Ludington, 71 in Big Rapids. Nevertheless, we think that this is probably where these thunderstorms that we're going to be focused on will start forming here, maybe closer to 8, 9 o'clock tonight, and then start rolling down towards us. So this is one of the latest models that we've been watching. And again, there's some question as to whether or not this is going to play out, but we think that this is probably the most likely scenario so far. This is 9 o'clock, and we'll start to see some of those storms around Lansing and Jackson. By 10 p.m., they'll start pushing into our west and south zone and then start to expand a little bit, probably at their height here around midnight, again, mostly south of Detroit, south and west zone primarily. By 2, uh, 2 a.m., they should be gone. Uh, in fact, maybe just hanging around the state line, but by 3 a.m., just about everything is going to be done. There may be a shower that sort of lingers till about 6 a.m. in the morning and then that's it. We're dry on Friday, but we're definitely going to be a lot cooler.